Running out like it was a month. Yeah, it does! Welcome back, Dinosaur members. It's the Talking T Rex, aka LBJLZ speaking here. And welcome back to the uh, Jurassic World Evolution uh, 2 Dominion Bios and Expansion DLC with the uh, campaign mission where we left off for last episode. We began building the uh, ginormous, of course, uh, Biosyn facility. You see in the background right here, it's being built. And for this episode, we actually will begin creating. Creating a new prehistoric specimen, the Dimetrodon. So yes, before we get into the episode, make sure to stomp a T-Rex foot on that subscribe bell button if you want to get notified of more Jurassic World Evolution 2 content. So without further ado, let's continue and incubate some Dimetrodons. That's it. We've had a breakthrough. An entirely new genome. So what you're saying is we've discovered a new dinosaur? Oh. One we've never seen before? Sort of. It is incredible, but it's not actually a dinosaur per se. It's a prehistoric yeah. synapsid called Dimetrodon. Huh. Or it's a source. Did Hammond <laughs> have one of these? I don't believe so. Perfect. A Biosyn exclusive. Oh, this yes, DNA of is course. Only part of the puzzle, though. We still need to build a hatchery and then synthesize this new breed. Once we've done that, we can incubate and release it. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait either. <laughs> New viable genome, Dimetrodon from Jurassic World Evolution. And I can't wait. So this is going to be the enclosure where we're going to put them in, along with the gate with the invisible fences and whatnot. So yeah, if you want to see more of the buildings and stuff like that, what came in this DLC, make sure to check out the first part of this playthrough right there. It is development build, and I do need to mention that, um, of course, this uh, is uh, brought to you by Frontier, of course. Thanks for the early access. It's been amazing. Such a great experience with the event once again. And now we're continuing with it with a Dimetrodon. So let's place it down the hatchery for that is it's entirely new buildings as well just like the hatchery it's a total new building so let's place it down right there and do connect it with a path right uh, there even though we have the hyperloops and stuff like that I, uh, <laughs> we still got to do the path for this one and uh, connect that right there there we go, because you click it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, an entirely new building. Look at that. And wow, it looks unique. Look at that. So, let's head over. And I already tried to <laughs> put upgrades on it. Let's head over to the hatchery bay. And, oh, yes, there it is. And with the actual genome list, we have Therizinosaurus already trying to look around there with the T Rex and stuff like that. But we're here for the damage run for this episode. Oh, yes, ever since walking with monsters. I wanted to do this. Oh, I did. in the second installment, this is official now. It is an actual Dimetrodon, even in the Jurassic World um, movie there, and it is great. So, it's synthesizing, synthesize, and incubate and release the following dinosaur, Dimetrodon. Oh, it says dinosaur. That is not <laughs> accurate. Let's select the eggs. I think um, I wanted to incubate uh, and release them all, but there were only four needed, and this is still campaign, so I didn't want to have any trouble of them breaking now with social requirements and whatnot. So I think I just only put four in. I did, and then aligned some scientists with it and started the task. And there we go. That Metrodon is in it. It's going relatively fast. Um, <laughs> It's done in a minute, and I've got it on triple speed, the game. So we shall soon uh, see it sooner or later, and I can't wait. I can't wait. So, 10 seconds remaining for the Metrodon. It's just kind of waiting, and there it is. So now we can release a uh, Metrodon. Let's do it. Here they comes running out like it was a monster. Yeah, it does! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> The dream! Oh my word! I the iconic walk cycle! I finally understand why <laughs> people have a fear of the dark. Once you peer into the shadows and see a pair of Dimetrodon eyes staring back at you, well, you'll be having nightmares for years. That's if you're lucky enough to walk away, because believe me, not everybody is. Oh, what happened? What happened? 
Anyways, let's uh, check the uh, requirements real quick. We gotta put in more of the forest for the Dimetrodons and stuff like that. And of course, a, uh, a feeder for them with a little bit of water. And they look amazing already. Okay, <laughs> I had this uh, event a while back um, and I've already forgotten if they actually uh, ran. But yes, they do. Yes, they actually do. And in the same way, uh, <laughs> that was just a mocking strategy to separate the young from the herd. Yes, can you guess which quote that is from? I, I wonder if that quote will make it in in the loading screen. <laughs> it's not from the Jurassic World franchise, so... Nah, not likely. But anyways, we finally have Dimetrodon in here. The first non-dinosaur in Jurassic World as you can incubate it as a dinosaur. And it looks amazing! Wow, look at you with the red sail and the iconic model. Of course, the head is is the model from Jurassic World Dominion. So identical. Look at that. What an absolute beauty with the teeth. This one is much more ferocious and killer-minded. Definitely. Definitely. Look at you. <laughs> Absolutely Thanks beautiful. So efforts, it's becoming clear that Biosyn will be the home of paleobiology moving forward. Our ah. future is found in the past. Ah, I like that. Sure, we've had some difficulties. That was expected, but you handled it well. I think we can now move forward with the next phase of Biosyn. We have a oh. world-class operation. Let's take it global. Biosyn will represent the past, present, and future. So, what do we focus on next? Okay. We focus on upgrading our research compound. That'll give us benefits across the board. I want a crown jewel. Something we can all be proud of. What? Do the we just made one! We're shooting for 100% <laughs> complete dinosaur genomes. The genetic link between birds and dinosaurs has long been established. Now, with a feathered dinosaur, oh. we can finally have our proof. Of yeah, course. A specimen. It's going to be incredible. Well, what are we waiting for? Time to get started on the research. And it's done built as well. The research compound Biosyn facility right there. Magnificent. Biosyn is at the brink of excellence. Everything InGen aspired to be and more. It is truly something. I, I just... Just Look at that. what? Well... This is the point InGen thought they had everything in place. Then it all unraveled from there. <laughs> yeah, let me put your fears to rest. I am not Hammond. He was all ego. I am not Mazrani and his tech first approach. We are set up to succeed. And that is what we're going to do. Oh, uh -huh. no, I, I didn't mean to imply it then. No, no, I understand what you're trying to say. There is truth in it. But we're in a far better position to succeed because others have failed. Hammond and Mazrani yeah. both brought tremendous advances to the world. Just a narrow vision of it. We do not. We see the whole picture. We see the balance of it. Where there are advancements, there needs to be a business that supports it. That makes sense. Look, Biosyn is not just interested in the dinosaurs. They have the potential to provide improvements for all life on this planet. If we don't jump on this opportunity, someone else will. So why not us? Excellent speech. I just wish I believed it. Anyway, <laughs> we're going bankrupt. 12 million and we were at 23. We're looking five for research minutes ago. on a very specific animal. If I were to say that its name means Olympus fire thief, a pyro raptor? Yes, exactly. Before we can proceed any further, we'll need to send a team out for Pyroraptor Amber samples. No problem. So there we are. It looks We're like we should be able to achieve a complete, uncompromised genome with the Pyroraptor. That should make Dodson happy. Of course. So, yeah, I was looking through where to get the Pyroraptor. And I think I needed this uh, level 2 of the Amber Mine for that. So the first Amber Mine... A uh, level, uh, of course, granted us, along with these dinosaurs, Dilophosaurus, Compi, Stegosaurus, Pratchrolophus, Stiggy Moloch, and stuff like that. Also, the Metrodon, and wow, <laughs> I like how we totally skipped it. They as well, like, we need an icon dinosaur specimen to represent us. InGen had T-Rex, we're coming with 
Um, the Metrodon. No, scratch that. <laughs> Pyram Raptor and Giga and <laughs> Fairy. Uh, leaving the Metrodon literally in the dust there. <laughs> leaving them in the mines. And oh my word. Uh, 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 Hey, if they won't show enough love for the Metron, I will, because that was amazing. Of course, I didn't have all the time to uh, <laughs> um, actually sightsee and uh, praise the Dimetron in its enclosure right here, because it was on a time uh, slot. Once again, so I was just racing through this mission, trying to get this done as fast as possible in unlocking the new dinosaurs for you to showcase, of course. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> otherwise I only have the Dimetron to showcase, and I learned from the past. And, hey, I, I sound like Hammond. I'm not making the same mistakes again. <laughs> Someone in the comments right now, if you place that comment, <laughs> I'm gonna pin you. <laughs> if, can you guess the line? I'll, I'll say it for you. If you <laughs> no, you're making the uh, You're making all new ones. <laughs> no, you're making the same ones. I wanted to say that. I'm not too sure why, but no. <laughs> we got the Metrodon and now we're just casually waiting for Pyro Raptor. And wow, the Dimetronaut, of course, looks very different, along with the skin. Don't look anything like the Walking with the Monsters. Doesn't come uh, close. Only the walk cycle. We saw the running and the walking. And that was <laughs> identical and beautiful. And it's just how we dim uh, remember dim Dimetrodon. Because over the, over the past few years with the uh, updates in Dinosaur Science and Paleontology, I thought there would be some updates on the Dimetrodon as well. Maybe it's walking uh, animation or anything. Because we've uh, heard something about this with pterosaurs as well. Where they don't rest on their hind limbs and stuff like that. And, or they have a different posture with their wings now. Or, and then it, that got declined. And then Spinosaurus got updated as well with a longer tail and stuff like that. So I thought the Metrodon would get a makeover as well. But apparently it's still the same. Or the Jurassic World was like, no, we still live in the past. Let's just keep the old Metrodon. Like how people remember it. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm, I'm glad that they didn't update that. Because the walking with the... With the <laughs> With the arms, can I do the motion like that? No, is it too difficult of a... I don't have any Dimetrodon DNA in me. Do I, Dr. Henry Wu? Do I? I I'm not too sure. They go twist like this and <laughs> walk like a boss throughout the park and great. So I'm wondering how the Dimetrodon will actually hunt down uh, goats and stuff like that. We will soon find... You. Will, uh, I will go back to the Dimetrodons in a second. I do remember that. Um, but, uh, we will see it eat, and also, maybe fight a Pyroraptor. Wouldn't that be something? Two small, um, prehistoric creatures from the past battling it out, even in this campaign. I, and I can say that now, I did that. I incubated a Pyroraptor and released it in the Dimetrodon enclosure, even though that wasn't very meant to do, but I wanted to see a fight. There's only a... <laughs> A specific amount of time when I'm playing this game that I need to see a fight otherwise it's all going downhill even <laughs> further for me I needed to see some colossal entertainment rise from the prehistoric times to keep me sane there I don't know if that's a t-rex thing or aggressive instincts genomes in me I'm not <laughs> but if I don't see a fight happening every 10 minutes ah, <laughs> the whole park is going to go uh, <laughs> Crazy there. So here it is, Pyroraptor. Start the task. This one took uh, a little bit longer to incubate um, than the Dimetrodon and stuff like that. Look at these buildings. Once again, there's a little bit of a glimpse of the buildings. And finally, the uh, facility has <laughs> done build there. Uh, it took a long time. It's uh, <laughs> over 40 mi 45 minutes to... Uh, well, it was 40 when it was finished. So, 40 minutes in and the building was finally uh, done right there. Smaller than I thought it uh, actually would be there. But here we go, Rhesus Complete Bison Genetics DNA for Pyroraptor. And we have it, the Dreadnoughtus. We have that one as well. I think that I put that one in as well. There we go, yes. Of course, big T-Rex brain. And uh, let's go over to the fossils, of course. Because now it's not fossils, it's actually... Um, of course, Amber's there. Uh, I tried to... Ah, uh, T-Rex is already unlockable as well. Uh, it also comes with a new skin. Uh, sadly, I did not have any time. Even uh, in these two hours of um, footage that I played the event in. 
It's uh, it doesn't give me uh, an, enough time to actually incubate all the dinosaurs, especially T-Rex, because that one is, of course, uh, pretty difficult to incubate. But you know which one I did manage to get? The Giganotosaurus. And if you ha are subscribed, then you will get notified for that upload and see it in this park or uh, later. If you're watching this video at a later date, I think it's already on the channel. So take a look so now we got a pyroraptor going in once again with the ambers recess complete we got the dreadnoughtus already so there we go we don't have to worry about that increased genome of pyroraptor if <laughs> we go oh we got the fairy icon research complete wait what oh that is oh it is already completed research event oh it's available okay and take another look at the dimetrodon Look at that with the enclosure and they're running. Look at this. It looks like running, but it's actually walking. I've got it on triple speed now. Looking for food. We see one in the background going for the feeder and it just looks amazing. They've done absolutely well with this model. It looks so good. New viral genome Pyroraptor. And it's sleeping as well, all four next to each other there. I thought I could just uh, incubate them straight away, but no, I had to get them to 100%, which was not the case for the Dimetrodon. But Dawn rises, and wow, look at this. Beautiful. Have a quick uh, read through if you want to see this. Dislikes Therizinosaurus. Mm, very specific. And I saw that. I saw that, and I might release a Fairy Xenosaurus with the Dimetrodon as well. Let's see what happens. Anything special? Is it going to be aggressive towards the Dimetrodon, or are the Dimetrodon going to pack hunt? <laughs> pack hunting Dimetrodons! That would be the day, wouldn't it? <laughs> Clinging on the side of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Pouncing and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> live the day to see that. So 77%. It's going great, that's completed. So now I was looking for the other Pyroraptor um, mine. I wanted to say dig site. Ah, there it is. No, it was Dim Oh no, it was Dimetrodon. And then I realized I had to go for the third level, which of course requires a research as well. And oh yeah, I was, l I was double checking with everything because I didn't want to waste uh, unnecessary time. If I put like money and time into research and stuff and I didn't need to then that would be wasted which i kind of did in the past sometimes but now i actually needed to do it so <laughs> i'll find out sooner or later the stegosaurus and other dinosaurs around the biosyn facility park are doing great the new 2022 jurassic world is taking shape with these beautiful new dinosaurs cut it out there you go <laughs> they're missing forest but that will get updated soon otherwise they have there would have been broken out already. So there we have it with the hyper loops as well. Now the Pyroraptor is oh look at this beautiful view. So this is the view actually. I could quickly wanted to showcase that as well. Nothing particularly special, but you've got like a height thing because all the viewing galleries were on the ground, so your guests would not feel like the well they would see the Brachiosaurus and mostly other sauropods from the uh, below and really get that immense feeling there i go i found it <laughs> immense feeling it was on the first level my bad <laughs> it got it went back um they they would get the immense feeling of how puny and tiny humans are compared to sauropods but in here they actually get to meet uh, their brachiosaurus on eye level just like in jurassic park wow you can actually feed a Brachiosaurus, can you? Only if a certain dinosaur would break the glass of it. Hmm, would that be a giga? <laughs> Anyways, we are not going bankrupt. We are um, <laughs> actually uh, above that. We're doing good on the finances. We got uh, some profits going in. Resting some scientists and that should be it for this episode right there. Expedition complete. It's almost done for the Pyroraptor. It's got to go in right away and i think that actually completes the pyroraptor raptor because that's gonna be the star of the next episode it's gonna be all about the pyroraptor. raptor we're gonna have some pyroraptor raptor versus dimetrodon and therizinosaurus battles if you've made it this far into the video now you're gonna know what is in the next video so yes check out the pyroraptor raptor video that's coming after this as a continuation of this jurassic world dominion 
bios and campaign mission there's so much to cover this dlc is amazing of course you can tell i had a lot of fun playing it and it's not even over this is like just a mission it's still this is a campaign mission not even the chaos theory mode or stuff like that that also got promised along with this new uh, up free update and other dinosaurs with it it's beautiful along with the decorations of course i wanted to sh the, ah new complete genome i wanted to share the new decorations with you of course these are actually in the facility we see research, we should be able to get a batch of power raptors of course so that is right, it then. for Let's next team on it episode so let me know what you think of the dimetron down below do you like the model do you like how it behaves there of course we'll do a, a massive in-depth showcase after in the sandbox thing magic that we always do on the channel um of course when the dlc gets released there so make sure to stomp a tears foot on that subscribe bell button if you want to get notified for that uh, next episode now i hope all of you lovely dinosaurs are going to have a great day and hope to see you in the next campaign episode number three goodbye dinosaurs the talking t-rex out